Hi there, Jamie Keith here today at Teachers Tech. Hope you're having a great day today. Today I want to show you how you can take a Microsoft Word document like this and quickly turn it into a PowerPoint document that goes through and uses AI very quickly to take all your things and put it into a PowerPoint in a few seconds. So let's go through this today on Teachers Tech. So first of all, this is all done online and you will need a subscription to Office 365 to do this. So I'm just at office.com. I'm gonna get logged in here to access my Microsoft apps. Now I could go to Microsoft Word online and log in that way, but I'm gonna log in just to everything in office.com. All right, so I'm in my office here and I'm going to just go to over to Word right here and open up a new blank document. So what am I going to add to this? So I'm going to go over and just grab an article from my website and paste it in. All right, so I'm just going to grab this article here, how to upload a PowerPoint to YouTube step by step guide and you can see the amount of text in this. And I'm going to go ahead and just highlight this from here. And I'll get the title in it, control C, go over here and control V, paste it in. So you can see everything's in and it has the images. Uh, I don't need this in it right here. So I'm just going to delete. Sometimes if you grab a few extra things uh, in it, you can go through and just delete it. But now all you need to do is go to file and then hit export. And you can see the option right here, ex uh, export to PowerPoint. Now, the media won't come with it. So the pictures and everything won't be a part of it. So I'm going to click on this and you're going to get these different options available here to pick for, for your design. And if you go back at each time, you'll notice that they slightly change and everything too. So if I go back and hit cancel and go over and click it again, you'll get a few different options. The next time they'll just look a little differently how they're set up. So I'm just going to go ahead and click one of these here and hit export and it's preparing the slides for me. And then it's just gonna say, yay, it's done. I can open up the presentation and that's how quick it is. Now, what you're gonna notice, it's not gonna be, uh, I find perfect, it's gonna have some things you can go through, but you can see as I click through it, uh, so I might need to add a title here, but as I go through, it puts my steps in order and it here it took the tips and it took each of these tips and kind of broke it in with a graphic down here and you can see as I go through. Now at uh, any points with these slides though, if I go to, I'll, I'll go to this one here and you can see under the designer, if it's not open, just click this right here. I could pick a different look for this. So if I wanted uh, to click on this one, it's gonna go through and change it. So you can go through to any of these and change your design very quickly to it. If you ever wanted to go back and, and make a change again uh, from original, you could go back to the Word document and try it again. But it's very quickly uh, done in here, sets everything up quite nicely uh, with your titles. And like I said, there might be a few things that you need to add, but you can go through and adjust this. So this is getting saved in OneDrive. You can see up top here, it says document three saved if I click down. Um, so I could give it a name here. You could rename this here. Uh, I'm gonna go call this test PowerPoint and I could actually download this. I'm working online right now too. If you wanted uh, to uh, work on it uh, in on your PowerPoint on your computer, you can do that now. You could use that to download it. And a quick way to edit it would be right through here and you can see open in a desktop app and it's gonna open up with there. If I go over to Microsoft Office at home, you get to see the most recent documents uh, in here or I can open up OneDrive and see the documents that get saved also in there. If you wanna learn more about any of these Microsoft apps, I have other videos on these. I'll put a link down to my playlist down below in the description. So I hope you like this little tip today on how to uh, export your Microsoft Words and turn it into a PowerPoint within seconds. Let me know if this could come in handy for you or what other things you're wanting to learn with Microsoft Word or PowerPoint. Thanks for watching this time on Teacher's Tech. I'll see you next week with more tech tips and tutorials.